Hello and welcome back to LCA TV. I'm James Brodberg on the LCA TV couch. And joining me now is Jason Nichols. Jason, good morning. Hey James. How are you doing? Good. Are you enjoying the conference so far? Uh, or are you just working far too hard? I haven't seen any of the conference <laughs> so far. So what's your role here at LCA uh, 2014? Uh, I'm the AV director. AV director. Yeah. Yep, and uh, so I've been responsible for setting up all the AV infrastructure to capture the recordings and uh, also make them available to Tim for streaming. So how many sessions are we recording simultaneously here at LCA this year? Uh, for the majority of the week it's five simultaneous sessions in the rooms. Uh, yesterday we had six because of uh, the Kernel Mini Conference also happening with some other stuff. Uh, we yes. were capturing six and then Octagon's a separate one. So seven venues and but six, sorry, seven, <laughs> eight venues. Uh, Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer, <laughs> eight venues. Well, this was always an extra, and was. Uh, it was lucky that we had a little bit of extra kit for you to do yeah. it. Uh, and I know you had to hire some cameras, but uh, it's probably worth it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what's your, your experience been? What have you got out of actually doing the video streaming here at, at LCA? Well, the main thing is, uh, through your initiative at Plug, we started doing recording and using DV Switch. And uh, then we also helped out at previous conferences. And what we wanted was a system that was very, very robust, easy to manage and configure, so that the operators, camera operators and DV switch operators, didn't need to really learn much about the system. They could just sit down in front of it. You know, they need to learn the interface, but they didn't need to learn how all the plumbing works. You know, they don't need to be a plumber. They, and they also can be confident that whatever they do, the system will keep running. If DV switch crashes, it will run. If the twin pack, which does screen capture, crashes, everything will keep running and those things will restart. And they, they, they can be confident that they're getting uh, the video and that it's being recorded and it's going back to the server. All that stuff is uh, transparent to them and they just concentrate on getting the video and, uh, and that's about it. So you said uh, obviously we're streaming, we're using a, a Tim's streaming solution obviously to, to push yep. that out. We're also recording. Where are the process files being pushed out to? So the idea with the recording is uh, we're going to do a number of things. We're going to put copies on some servers at the accommodation. Right. So people will be able to download them really, really quick as soon as they're out. We're going to be putting it on the Linux Australia Mirror. And that will be for long-term storage, so people can always get it from there. And the other thing we want to do is upload them to YouTube, which doesn't happen every conference, but I think that invites a wider audience yes. because people will go to YouTube and they'll look for something, like search for something, and they'll come across a video which happens to be LCA. Whereas then very unlikely to find that same video if it's only on Linux Australia's yes. FTP mirror, which no one's not going to know about except for attendees. So I, I imagine a large number of people will probably be loading up laptops before they jump on planes at the end of the week. What is the URL I'll, for or access to that? Uh, for the on-campus ones, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Steve, Steve. Steve, Steve's taking care of all the file server side of things because uh, I'm just going to get him the videos. That's that's uh, evil Steve. Evil, evil Steve, Steve, Steve Walsh, the uh, networking guru He's guy. He's been doing an absolutely awesome job, I think, of getting yeah. networking up. We've had uh, stable wireless attachment so far. I think we had one one slight issue yesterday afternoon. For well, well, seconds. one one room had insufficient coverage right but uh, that wasn't our fault we're using university infrastructure and they to to um, the university's credit they actually added another access point in wow. there and so that coverage is now better How easy. and I don't think uh, it's so obvious because delegates uh, use the wireless and that's about it but there's a lot of other networking stuff especially for AV that Steve took care of and uh, we wouldn't have AV if it wasn't for that. And obviously we've had really good support from the university in getting gig links across every one of the buildings that we were at. Yeah, that was the other thing which made stuff very easy. We've got one gigabit fibre links between all the venues and the uh, server room at the uh, operations centre. That means we have zero networking problems, uh, capacity problems, yeah. latency is super low and uh, we haven't had any issues with capturing all those streams at the same time and getting them back there because DV is a very lightly compressed format, it's uh, 25 um, gigs megs now, a oh, sorry 25 megs a second um, which is about 13 gigs an hour or something like that, it's, it's, uh, 
is pretty big for me. Now, obviously, um, you're running around getting all the video working, which is a great thing because you can watch all of these streams afterwards. But yep. are there any things from the schedule that you've picked out that you actually want to go and see live as it's happening? Uh, you going to be able to tear yourself away from, from making Right, sure well, this, this is how it works. When I go to the Octagon, like to do the keynotes because they're the only ones that I actually sit down and record. Everyone else is done by our volunteers, our awesome volunteers. Uh, that's when I found out what the keynote is. When I sit down and the keynote <laughs> speaker it, comes out, I haven't looked at the schedule, which is a little bit too heads out. Although things have um, backed off now, so that doesn't mean I'm going to look at the schedule. What it means is all the setup is done, everything's capturing reliably. And we're writing a few more pieces so that we can do the video processing so that we can get the videos out. And we've already got the first two keynotes wow. out. We did a, a nice three and a half minute clip of Pia War and the performance she did in the multimedia comp, uh, mini comp. But that was awesome to see. I mean, yesterday we sat down and I think that, that uh, place, what you said earlier, that the system is easy to use, but the, the volunteers are using it. I think they'd actually start to get a little bit artistic with the, the camera fades right. and the positioning. And it was just, That's right. I do recommend that if you've got the time, go and have a look at Pia's uh, Yeah, definitely. It was, it was uh, sent out there on Twitter by us, by Twitter, has, uh, by Pia herself. Uh, and uh, I, I definitely recommend having a look at that. And it's a good, it's a good indication that the volunteers are picking up the system, they're running with it, and um, doing their own thing, which is what I'd like to see. Of so course, having these great videos is a way of seeing the content, but mm -hmm. I don't think it actually takes away from actually being at the conference. No. The, the hallway track of, you know, I don't know, no. um, we've got Linus just out in the corridor yeah. here. Uh, we've got Tridge somewhere over there. Yeah, I've um, been singing around. And it's, it's one of those things that, um, so much of the conference isn't the presentations. Um, it's actually meeting the people. And, and I saw yesterday there was a couple of students uh, who were here, and they were asking a code coverage question for testing and, and validation yep. um, to Rusty. Yep. And you could just see them light up that they could actually go up to Rusty and ask him face to face. Oh, wow. And he was so passionate at actually helping them. And I think that's that is one of the things that we can't capture easily that that missed the way track. Well, of course, yeah. Physically being here, nothing can beat that. And uh, but even physically being here, you no one can physically be in five streams at one time. And I know from attending previous conferences, not helping, uh, I always miss talks I wanted yes. to see. And to to me, even though for Linux Australia they specifically mention AV as a nice to have, I think. It's, it's a need to have. It's a need to have because uh, I want to see stuff that I couldn't get to see, and the only way to do that is if they're recorded and made available. And that's why I did. That's you why are, I did this. You are role. scratching that itch. Jason. Yeah, exactly. Thank that's you right. ever so much for all the effort <laughs> Not just this year, but I know last year's uh, LCA, you were a, a key part of the video team getting that happening. Yeah, um, that was a learning experience. It was a learning experience. Yeah, which well, was good for this year. Absolutely, and, and I think it's it's one of the things that we need to do with every LCA is to have the following year's team actually participate right. in the previous year. So it's going to be interesting, I think, with the two-year announcement that's about to happen for the next two LCAs. Yep. Um, there'll be a lot more knowledge sharing going on. All oh, right, so the next two are going to be announced the at the same time. Announced. Yes. All right, so way more prep. For... Way more prep. Okay. Less pressure and less stress. None of this sort yeah. of 12 months running there's, around. There's nothing like uh, a bit of, uh, of a deadline to, <laughs> to put the pressure on. That's why we're working so hard on the weekend before to finish the software. Absolutely. <laughs> and it, it was such a, a rush to get everything set up and uh, to make it work. And I think these days we set a lot of pressure on ourselves, not just to be ready for today, which is day one of the conference, but to be ready for day minus two of the mini comps and, and have things recorded for that because the, the content there at the mini comps is also quite interesting. Yeah, well we got all recordings of the mini comps so they will get up there but uh, the real the real issue for us this year hasn't been the system that's been working really well it's actually been we need we could use more volunteers. Absolutely. Because and I underestimated this how much time it takes to cable up a room, take things down get stuff run from one room to another room, deal with this problem, deal with that problem. Volunteers are just so incredibly important. So what does it take to become a volunteer at LCA? You How put your hand up. Put, put your, your hand, hand up. up. Step forward. <laughs> put your hand up. Just go see Ewan. Go see Ewan at this conference. Yeah. Um, excellent. So for future LCAs, if you're thinking of coming along, I'd definitely say volunteers, step up, help out, and uh, oh, get yeah. involved. It's a way of paying back to the community. Yeah. And the volunteers seem to uh, be having a bit of fun with the system, so it's not all work, I think. It's not all hard work. No, that's right. Awesome. <laughs> Jason, thank you ever so much Thanks. for everything you've been doing. Take right. care. Thanks, James. We'll be back.